Responding to the needs of the orphans by um, uh, doing an adoption and uh, we're in the process right now of going through that. All my life I have felt that maybe my life's design is to adopt and after we had our second child, Evan, um, biologically, um, we were discussing possibly having a third child and then things just didn't work out that way. I was going to play in a golf outing with Life Care. It was a ministry that does support women at risk. Kind of was praying for these children to be, to be able to be adopted and kind of felt that God was kind of speaking to me about adoption and I said, that's not really my plan. We're not talking about me here. And On October 14th, 2010, that's when Keith came home from the golf tournament and said, I think we're supposed to adopt. Let's pray about it. On October 14th, 2011, we have completed our home study. We're waiting for the assessment to be written and we're starting our dossier paperwork. Gateway is part of the ministry that Southbridge Fellowship supports, the life care ministry which has been around for about 25 years. I think what I have seen and I've come to a much better understanding of as a Christian is that all life is valuable. Whether it's wanted or not wanted, whether it's perfect or not perfect, that God has created this child. And the opportunity to be involved right at the very beginning when a mother or perhaps a father is making a choice of the value of that child, that we know that God has placed value upon whether it's born or not born, whether we see it or hold it or whether it's still in its mother's womb. That is the value that God has placed on that life. Our response to the need for orphans has been uh, at different paces. You know, Barbara first was really feeling connected to the cause and I was so hesitant. I, I heard something once where that once a child reaches a certain age, they're actually titled unadoptable. And it just, my heart broke at that moment. And I just thought if, if I could choose anyone and I just started praying to the Lord, if I would choose anybody, I would choose somebody who had that title, who's unadoptable. Because I, before I was following the Lord, that's how I felt with Him. We talk about as a church life change. Mm -hmm. What about changing your own life? Yeah. And that's what I was confronted with, is, is this a place my life needs to change? And through the process, I am so grateful for that. The Lord has adopted me into His family and how can we not respond to open up our family to, um, to adoption since we've already been adopted. We're living in Raleigh, North Carolina, just um, living our life, attending Southbridge. And um, then the Lord just laid it on our hearts, this, this need for the orphans around the world. And so what we did was we just booked a trip to Panama thinking we were gonna turn in our paperwork to adopt and then go on a little vacation, but the Lord had other plans. Our ministry, Hearts Cry Children's Ministry, focuses on serving the needs of the orphans of Panama um, by way of doing everything we can to try to get them into suitable families and get them out of the orphanage. Hope Reigns is a ministry that um, helps hurting kids. These are children that have gone through trauma, abuse, illness, at risk, and we actually pair them with horses that have gone through a similar circumstance. From the very beginnings of Hope Reigns, uh, the Lord has brought us these orphans and children in foster care situations. Uh, the first two children that we actually worked with, one was an orphan from China, and the other was a pair of three siblings uh, that were in foster care coming out of a really neglect neglectful situation. Amazing Grace Adoptions is a partner ministry of Southbridge Fellowship. I see this ministry meeting the needs of orphans by equipping families to um, pursue adoption and connecting um, children who don't have families or don't have mothers and fathers who can care for them with loving Christian homes. Learn to do good. Learn to do good. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Seek justice. Seek justice. Encourage the oppressed. Defend the cause of the fatherless. Fight. Fight. Fight for the rights of the widow. Fight for the rights of widows. Fight for the rights of widows.